So we need a battery source, just a 12 volt battery. Any idea why they chose 12 volts? Low motorcycle. Take it on the motorcycle road or car, and plug it into the body. Mm -hmm. and Stick it into the vehicle that we're working on. So for our industry, that's what we got going on. Go ahead and hit the trigger. <coughs> Give it a second here. We aren't worried about any of these numbers on here. We are literally going to use this to produce the smoke. Can you see it? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hookah. Can't get hurt from it. it. Smells pretty cool, actually. <laughs> Ain't it water? It's like a hookah station right there or something. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's so cool. It smells like lemonade. Okay. All right. I released you... the button. Why? I'm sorry. Let go of it. It'll, st It'll stay on. Now hit it again. Oh. What type of switch do we call that? Um, Toddle. Nope. Momentary. You know, momentary is if you hold it and it lets off, so that's just a regular on off switch. So turn it on. It will time out after a while, or if something's wrong to where it's plugged up, do you see how the gauge yeah. went crazy? In the automotive industry, they hook this into the emissions of the car, and then they have these like adapters where they'll put it on your gas cap, and there's a test, I don't know a lot about it, that will, you'll go to a service manual and say, go ahead and turn it off. It'll, it'll go ahead and it'll tell you that it should have a certain amount of um, pressure be able to be built up in the system or what else what's this gauge here danny do you know what the other gauge is is that a um the round gauge or the, well the round game is inches of the flow meter uh, the long sight class yeah flow meter that'll gauge. show you the amount of the volume of air that's going through for an automotive evap system you need to know how much of a leak percentage of leak so as that ball travels it tells you how much volume of air is moving through that that line. Okay, so look at this. You could go to your manual, and this is adjustable. So it gives you could you know say the manual says that it needs to be at forty, then you could be over here working on it, and you could get that nice visual uh, gauge that the ball floats up to. That. You put your thumb over the end. Yeah. And the ball drops, yep. And you let go, that ball jumps around. Yep. Go ahead and turn it on. We'll just do it again. Here's what you, here's what I just did a few minutes ago. Do you see that? Okay. The leakage disappeared. All right. So let, I'll just partially block it. Do you see that? Yeah. That's floating. But we don't use that in the motorcycle industry, at least not yet. Automotive. It's automotive. But when I talked to Danny about getting this, and we really had to find something that would fit our needs, go ahead and turn it off. So we were struggling a little bit ago just using just our two-stroke ones. We're going to go ahead. Uh, this is. actually works better with the lights off, too. The smoke kind of glows. All right, go ahead. So with, with the glasses on, you don't need to have the lights off? Oh, oh, the light's in there. We have the light. Yep, it came with it. Okay. Oh, I see some. So can you see how the smoke is really a lot more apparent? I'll try and... Jesus, wow, smoking it's smoking over here. here. Oh, if it's smoking over here, what's bad? Uh, seal. Well, you guys act like you know something about two strokes. <laughs> <laughs> right? We're going to come off one of the bottom. Look at this. Oh, um, yeah, how'd the guys wrong. do when they did this motor last year? Terrible. Yeah, not very good. Yeah. yeah. Two things wrong. Is that the case or is that? Yeah. That's, that's, the, that's the right seal. Go ahead, Dirk. The Dirk's going, he's just going off his uh, muscle memory there. How about that? Just taking the oil fill cap out. Goodness gracious. Okay. Oh, wow. All so, right. I think so. Suzuki bomb. Shut it off. That's not going to run a little rich. Go ahead and shut it off. It's a little rich. I said at the beginning of this, what we were going to do is we were going to talk about, okay, what is the typically the bare minimum that a lot of shops are going to have? They're going to have this two-stroke tester. Uh -huh. In this case, how effective really was this tool? Not at all. No, no, no. So then we cheated, we used the adapters, and we applied a controlled PSI, did not go more than that 10, and we could see the leak with the bubbling, but it's still... And you could hear it, too. Did, with, the, with that, could you see all this? No. No. So That would have been something I wouldn't have noticed until even after I took apart the engine. Right. So if you're doing a lot of uh, two-stroke motors or ATVs where you want to test like differentials or gear cases or whatnot, now we'll use this on my Harley today to... Uh, to test that case and try and figure out where we have that oil leak. Any type of case out there, um, we're going to be able to see um, where the leak is. The only thing you have to be able to have the ability to do is you have to be able to know where the vent is to plug the vent so that you can seal the case. If you're doing a transmission or a four-stroke and you were trying to look for a leak or something, the two-stroke itself by its own design is a sealed case. The only problem we have sometimes is through the power valve it'll leak. So if we just plug that vent there. Um, and this one's not leaking, so it must have pretty tight power rails.